to Book In It with Bailey Bob, which is my book club. Today I'm going to be talking about Water for Elephants. It's a 2006 book written by Sarah Gruen. Some of you may know that it's also a movie. I haven't seen the movie and I don't plan to because I read the book, so that's good enough for me. The summary of this book is that it's about a man named Jacob Jankowski. I might be pronouncing it wrong. But anyway, it's about his experience working on a traveling circus show. They travel by train, so they basically lived in the train until they were setting up for the circus and taking it down and then moving on to the next city. The show was the Benzini Brothers' most spectacular show on earth, and the author used a lot of historical events that actually happened in real life that revolve around her fictional story. So I'm gonna talk about some of the themes that I really liked. One of them was murder and secrets. At the very beginning in the prologue, we find out that there was a murder that happened at the circus and that Jacob, who is now 93, has been keeping this secret for his entire life. After the prologue, the rest of the book is, he's 93 now, but it's him retelling and reliving and remembering what back when he was about 23, working for this circus and what he went through and his experiences. Another theme is the divide between the performers and the working men. So the performers kind of had a higher ranking and didn't want to associate themselves with the working men. Like Jacob, he was the veterinarian. And when he came onto the show, he was put into a bunk on the train with Walter, who was one of the performers. And at first Walter was pissed off and was like, how could they put this man in here with me? Like, I'm a performer. And it has that hierarchy and things like that. So it, Throughout the course of the book, their relationship starts to develop and it starts to blur the lines between who's a performer and who's a working man and realize that they can both be on the same team and their relationship grows from there. Jim is chewing on a bone right now, in case you're wondering what that <coughs> noise is. Another theme which is a little bit touchy and kind of hard is the circus animal abuse. The elephant's name is Rosie and she's the biggest representation of this. The animal, the main animal, not trainer, but like, I guess just conductor of animals. He's awful and when he first gets this elephant and he can't figure out how to train her, he's awful to her and abusive and aggressive. However, another theme is about the humanity and animals. And later on, once August finally figures out how to train her, she forgives him before Jacob even can. So while Jacob is hating him and remembering what he did to her, Rosie is forgiving him and purring up against him. And it's really beautiful how they show these animals and how these animals can have more humanity than even humans can. Now I'm gonna read a quote that I really like and that's gonna show you guys about the, the elephant, Rosie. Here, I say, handing her the orange, you can have it. She takes it and sets it on the floor. Then she reaches out again. After several seconds of serious misgivings, I hold out my hand. She wraps her long fingers around it, then lets go. She sits on her haunches and peels her orange. I stare in amazement. She was thanking me. So, Jacob has a good way of being able to communicate with his animals and he loves them so much. So as much as this was a good book, I would definitely not recommend it to children or anyone that would have a hard time with animal abuse, which sucks and it was hard for me to read as well, but I do think that it's important to get this message across and for people to know that if they're going to go to a circus with animals that they're supporting animal abuse. So I think that it's good that this book was written and sold and that people have read it because it's good to know and acknowledge that in circuses with animals, abuse is going on and that you probably shouldn't be giving your money to them. So as hard as it was to read, it, it was good. There's also a lot of sexual scenes in there and they're very detailed and very explicit. So if that's something that you're not comfortable with, then don't read it. And that's another reason why I don't think anyone that's young should read it, just adults. Overall, I thought that this was a really good book and I really liked it and I liked the way it ended. I'm not gonna spoil it, don't worry. But I wouldn't read it again 
because I wasn't into all the sex in it. Um, it was definitely like a rated R book with how much sex was in it, along with there was also bloody parts, which I liked, I liked those parts. But as far as everything else and the animal abuse, I'm good, I'm probably never gonna pick up this book again, but it was still worth it to read. All right, so that's my review on Water for Elephants. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you've read this book, tell me what you think about it. Or if you have a suggestion for another book you'd like me to read, you can go ahead and let me know. As always, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will see you next time.